How to make a pop-up menu in WordPress. Quick and easy tutorial. Hi guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a pop-up menu in your WordPress. So let's get started. First, what you can do is you can open up your WordPress.com and you can open up your dashboard. This is the dashboard for my WordPress website that I'm creating. And I'll show you how to create a pop-up menu. What is the pop-up menu? Well, on your website, if you're creating a store, a blog or any kind of website on WordPress, we can actually customize it and make it look more professional, aesthetically pleasing by adding a pop-up menu that pops up on your website and it allows your users to actually select any of the pages anytime they want. It's a very user-friendly feature that we can add to our WordPress website. In order to do that, you will go to your dashboard and then you're going to scroll down to the plugins. In plugins, we're going to click on add new. Right here, we have add plugins. And what you're going to do is you're going to search for pop-up menu. All right. So here we have a bunch of different plugins available for a pop-up. We can actually not only create a pop-up menu, uh, we can also create different pop-up, for example, suggestions. And if you have any features, any tools, we can actually create pop-ups very easily. So you can see we have a pop-up builder, create highly converting mobile friendly marketing pop-ups. Then we have pop-up maker, pop-up for options, lead generation, and more. Then we have some of the others, Royal Elementor add-ons. Then we have pop-up box, uh, pop-up everything you want. Then we have a pop-up builder right here, Elementor website builder. And then we have pop-up maker for a responsive uh, design. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go with this one right here, which is the first plugin. And you can see it has 700,000 um, active installation. And it is also compatible with my WordPress version. So I'm going to click on install now and it'll just take a second to install. And then we're going to click on activate right here once it's installed it will take you right here you can see welcome to a pop-up maker you're going to scroll down and click on create your first pop-up all right so we have to now select that what kind of pop-up we are looking for we actually want to create a pop-up menu so i'll show you how to do that we just need to follow the steps first of all give your pop-up a name so i'm going to call it let's just for now i'm going to call it a test menu right here pop-up title now this is going to be the title that will be shown to your user as a headline like what what is being shown on their website on their page uh, so i'm gonna go ahead and call it quick menu there you go moving on we have to enter our media we can enter a form most of the time what we do is we actually create forms as pop-ups so I am actually getting my other uh, plugins that I have on my dashboard. It's showing me that, okay, if you want to add this kind of form, if you want to add that kind of form, and then we have one from our pop-up creator. So they're asking me to insert a form or what I want to actually add. We can enter a login form if we want, forgot password form, registration form, or profile page. So I'm going to go with the page right here. Or what we can do is we can actually select our menu here when it comes to adding a form. So what you will do is you will click right here on add form and you can enter your menu here. Then we have our different options here for description and we have insert read more option. Uh, then we have like toggle bar. This is for the description of your uh, you know, pop-up that will be showing up. Then we have some of the pop-up setting. Now, this is where it's very important to actually add what we are being, what we are actually creating. We have some triggers, targeting, display, close, and advanced. When the pop-up will be shown on our website, what is going to be the trigger? So I'm going to add a new trigger and my trigger is going to be when it says click open or there is an auto delay or something. So I'm going to go with click open. On pop-up close, on pop-up open, formed submission and others. I'm just going to go with this one and click on add. Now, this is my trigger. Moving on, we have to now enter a cookie if we want. Then we have targeting. Like, what is the condition when it will be shown? So, I'm going to go with the home page. It will take us to home page. Then I'm going to add another one. Like, these are going to be the conditions to show your pop-up to your targeted audience. So my menu will be shown in my home page. And then we have display, what display you want, like a center pop-up, a side, 
above and here so i'm gonna go with right the top bar because the menu looks good at the top bar here then we can select the appearance of course you can go with a default theme you can go with a light box hello box frame box or whatever you want to go for i'm going to go with default then we have the size so the size is going to be similar i'm just going with this right here so it looks really good it will be shown at the top and my menu will pop up every time there is a uh, click open or um, it's going to be like a sticky bar if you think about it or you can go with this layout as well but i am liking this one for our menu then we have some sounds if you want i do not want any sound for my menu then we have position we went with top and we have some advanced settings so these are going to be the display settings for your pop-up that you will be creating and then we have close uh, when it will be closed so we can enter some time it will be actually it will disappear after let's say three seconds or three milliseconds we can go with 10 so it will disappear like that then we have also a close button if you want to add it moving on we have advanced option display automatic retargeting of pop-ups after a non ajax form submission and others you can now scroll down to your registration pop-up if you want you can add this is for the restriction and this is by my plugin that i have so you will not be getting this option so this is how you can create any type of pop-up in your wordpress by adding a plugin we have a bunch of other options here such as analytics how many times the pop-up opened what were the conversions now pop-ups are most of the time created for conversion and to see how people react to it uh, but we can use it for a pop-up menu as well if you do not want to use coding and if you want to avoid creating custom widgets uh, then you can use this option and just create a pop-up menu instead of creating a pop-up registration form or a login form um, so we have our you know again our triggers here targeting display close option and advanced option given uh, Arthur so you will actually enter all of the information here according to your menu select the menu you have or you can also add a form like a login form as a pop-up and you can select the display the advanced settings and it will help you make your website more efficient and effective you will be able to create a responsive website with a pop-up maker you can also use other plugins that actually give you more features this is a free plugin that you can go for and you can also create themed pop-ups with this one we have settings that we can customize it's actually a really good plugin that we can go for to, to create pop-up menus on wordpress website to make our a website more responsive and aesthetically pleasing as well and of course user friendly the more user friendly your website is the more conversions you will be getting and you will get more visitors um, with the help of a pop-up menu so yeah guys this brings us to the end i hope that i was a big help to you guys don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up leave a comment down below turn on bell notification and subscribe to youtube channel